wouldn't be an I'm Alex video if we didn't turn on the sign. It's always got to be on. Ignore everything uh, amongst that, please. And um, I'm going to sit in the chair and you won't be able to see it. I love that. I spent all that money on a sign. You can't even see it. Happy birthday, 22. Hello, everyone. Malix, welcome back to another video. Um, today, we're going to be answering questions and assumptions. Hopefully, you guys are not going to just be like asking questions about, you know, what's it like being so old? Um, are you dead yet? <sighs> Hopefully. So I asked you guys over on my Instagram to shoot me some cues, and um, normally they're terrible, so we'll see uh, what you guys have to say, and um, have a chat. This first question is a question I get loads, and um, it's from Harry. Harry said, what would you do if it wasn't for YouTube? Well, um, that's a great question. I ask myself that a lot because I'm perpetually living in fear. YouTube's something I've done since I was... 11 maybe even you know i've always had a camera i've always been filming stuff i love filming stuff one of the things i probably do is make films I'll, i that's what i did at college that's what i studied for that's what i've got my diploma in that's what i'm qualified at i can make film and i would still like to do that that's something i will do maybe not now maybe not in my 20s i like working on little things here and there and trying to integrate them into YouTube. Oh no, man, something video related. I just released a song called Lil Revenue Meat Feast, which is now on all platforms, by the way. Uh, link below, you could stream it and you can buy it if you really want to. God, I, uh, well, I'd appreciate it. And one of my favorite things about making music is being able to do the videos, man. I love doing the videos. They're the best bit. Uh, the music bit, it, it, I, I try and get that to be good as I can, but I love doing music to do music videos I, I love just video i love making a cool video especially with limited budget and ability I, i'd like to say the ability isn't too terrible but yeah man that's what i'd probably be doing that or like trying to figure out how to play my ukulele more which is um something i do a lot so maybe this maybe more of this maybe 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 both i'd love to make my own music videos that'd be cool more of that. Georgie said, when is the next drop of internet sensation stuff? I'm debating about buying. It's going to be delayed. Normally, we try to do them every couple of months and keep a flow going. But to be honest, it's not possible really with, you know, the, the big thing going on at the moment uh, that cannot be named ever, unfortunately. Because for some reason, we're not really allowed to talk about it. I don't think the internet likes it. I don't think that the, the, the company people like it. So uh, so it's just the, the pandemic that cannot be named. But I'm working on stuff. I've got tons of designs. I haven't really passed anything over yet because I'm not happy with it. And the clothing is my life. I love doing that, man. That's one of my biggest passion projects. I don't like just rushing stuff out on there. I want it to be good. Because if it's not good, why would you wear it? You know, clothing's important. You've got to want to wear it. I can't just make it. And the way I get there is I go, do I want this? And I just make what I want. And then I wear it and I go, hopefully other people will. And that is how I do it. And currently, I haven't pieced something together yet, which I want to wear. And until I could do that, there won't be anything. But hopefully, some point this year, I want it to be really cool. And I'm working really hard on it. And hopefully, it will be great. So thank you for everybody who does support the clothing, who is an official internet sensation. I appreciate it. Keep tagging me on Instagram and Twitter. And also, don't forget to follow the Instagram and Twitter for the socials on those accounts so you know when stuff is coming out. I appreciate that. And thank you for supporting it. And there will be stuff soon. It means a lot. I just want to make sure that you're getting what you deserve. Favourite present you've ever received? See, I actually got some pretty good presents because it has just been my birthday. Um, and we're not going to talk about the e-boys ones because you guys have already seen them and you guys know how much I appreciate that. But for me, I'll show you some of the stuff I got for my, my birthday recently because I, I think that works best. Number one, this one was from my brother. Uh, he got me the oh, the ATST Walker. Don't drop it. The ATST Walker from The Mandalorian. Uh, you got Mando there. This was one of my favourite scenes. I think they absolutely smashed this. So having the Lego version of it is really, really cool. Uh, I got this um, cool little like art calendar piece. Uh, Roy Lichtenstein. I used to study him in art. Um, I always think his stuff's really cool. I take a lot of inspiration and stuff like this when it comes to designing stuff for me. So that was neat. And that was from uh, my cousins and my aunt and uncle. So they smashed it. Shout out to them. Then also you may be able to see got a little baby Yoda in the background. He just sits there. Uh, he's eating currently. That oh, he was eating in bed. I was doing that. But um, I got this uh, Lego uh, art necklace, which when you fully connect it, it's a heart. That's cute. Because I love Lego. I literally love Lego. So it's it, it's perfect, really. What's your favourite E-Boys video? For me, um, it has to be... Uh, as much as I love 
all of them. I think it would be a Christmas video because it was great just having everybody together in the same room. I miss my friends. I miss seeing my friends and I live for doing stuff with my friends, you know. I don't like doing stuff on my own. I don't like not doing stuff in groups. I miss that more than anything. Um, that is me. That's my life. That's always how it's been. I've always just been somebody who wants to be around everybody. So I have to do that because the last time we could really do that and it'd be relatively okay. And it's a shame. It's a shame because we had so much fun on that shoot. And it almost felt like, oh, this is going to be the last one for a while. And we were all trying to convince ourselves that it was going to be more for a while. With the pandemic and everything going on, it just felt too risky to continue to risk it. But eBoy's videos are going to be back soon. And by soon, I mean soon. And that is a promise. And weekly podcasts. And that is a promise. Because of the fact that we are working on it. Brought some people on to help us do that. Yeah, eBoy's is going to be something that I can't wait. As soon as this pandemic is over, we can all get back to normal. Uh, and, a, and a normal way of doing things. And um, yeah, that'd be cool. Because I, I miss doing those videos, man. And those are always my favourites. Whether you said you appreciate your followers more than you show. I feel like I'm quite appreciative. I feel like I'm not. Uh, I say I hate stuff around the job and people like to try and pretend that I don't like the people who watch my stuff. I have no qualms with the people who watch my stuff. They're the best bit. I've always said that without fail. And if you could find me not saying it, then well in. <laughs> but there are downsides to a lot of things. Uh, crazy people and stalkers and fucking like genuine psychos or there are bad days, or technical problems, and stuff like that. Um, but I wouldn't want anybody to ever feel like I don't appreciate what's going on here. I am very lucky, you know, I've put work in, but so I have so many people, and it doesn't come off for everybody. So I understand that I am only here by your grace, and it means a lot to me. And that's why I take time off, and that's why I spend time working on stuff that I'm proud of, because one of the things that stopped me from uploading recently is, as I've said before, I don't feel good enough. I don't feel like anything that I'm putting out is worthy of the people's time you've chosen to watch me. And that is one of my struggles. So, you know, I may not sit there and go, I love you guys, I love you guys, oh, I love you. Oh, I really appreciate it. But um, if you sit in my Twitch streams and you follow me on there, you'll know that I'm very appreciative of everybody who comes by and supports those. It means a lot to me. And, um... If you're a subscriber on the channels, I think you could see that I've always tried to make the best video I can make. And I always do put time in. I always try and go the extra mile when I can. And I hope to continue doing that. Sometimes the reason that can't happen is because I have bad days. And I let myself down. But beyond that, you know, I like to feel like I show that. And if I don't, you know, I'll try harder. <laughs> have you ever stalked our accounts? This terrifies me. Yeah, man. I look at people's accounts all the time. Um, I go through my tags basically every single day and I look at what people have been doing. I don't like everything because I don't want to come across as like I'm fucking going through every single post ever. I normally just like the clothing ones because, you know, I really appreciate the fact that people fucking hand over their money for something that I sat and designed. And that means a lot. I do. Fan edits. It's weird to like a fan edit. Self-obsessed. So I try not to. Unless the editing's really top-notch. Because I don't want to be like, oh, that's a great song choice and I look cute. That would be weird. But I do check people's accounts, and um, I appreciate the people who stand me and follow me. It means a lot that you pick me. There are better people. Uh, you know, raise your standards. Last thing I want to say, though, is if you are somebody who has clips that you do love, and you do tag me in them on Instagram, I do greatly appreciate that, because we just launched the Clips YouTube channel, which is I'm Alex Clips. Um, it's the streaming channel that I used to have, but I've converted it into a place where I could just post basically anything. So I'm not tied down to just posting stuff from streams. If you want to send me clips to post on that channel, moments you think are the funniest moments from this, then please go ahead and just tag me in them on Instagram. I'd really appreciate that. I'm going to go through as many of them as I can and upload them, and it would mean a lot. I think that comes to the end of this Q&A assumptions type thing. Thank you guys for sending stuff in again. I appreciate it. Without you, I wouldn't have a video. I'll catch you guys soon. I've been slightly, you know, just kind of working on main channel videos at the moment. So me and Connor, who edit these, have just been kind of, you know, trying to get as much stuff out as possible. But we appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And um, there'll be a new collaboration video out in the next few days with George. So look out for that. And don't forget, leave a comment. Because I'm going to start doing comment of the week. And I'll feature your comment in the next video. Peace out, people. Subscribe if you're new. Turn notifications on. Like the video. And have a good day. Bye. I feel it in